What you don't expect, or I didn't expect anyway, last week when I went home to Northfield in South Birmingham, visiting one of the area's new warm banks, yes, warm banks, was the singing. But the thing about it is, they're determined that no one should leave without a smile on their face. Northfield has never been rich, it's ordinary. It's home, working class, proud of itself, long dominated by the now long gone Rover factory where my dad worked. But the most ordinary thing about it now is that like so many places across Britain, it's having to wrestle with the fact that poverty, extreme poverty for some, for so many, is a fact of life. It is shocking and yet we are not shocked. Not at all. It's, it's, um, and it's become horribly normal, horribly normalised. That, that is just the way that it, it works and the way that it happens. The term warm bank is not one that we've made up. <laughs> um, the, a warm welcome, as I see it, needs to be a place with no stigma. It needs to be a place because this is what we are facing at the moment. If you can't cover your kids for like fleeces and things they need, and like obviously shoes that are suitable for the winter. I mean, you're working. Yeah. I mean, you're working. Yeah. I mean, you're doing everything like that everyone yeah, says you should like do. That. Yeah, yeah. But it's just. But it's still not enough. No, no. <laughs> How bad do you reckon it is by comparison even to the last few years? Um, we've, I've been coming here for over a year now doing this and we went from I reckon about 12-15 people, tonight is a quiet night, but last week we had 68 people here. I think the figures speak for themselves. Like why is that? I mean why is it that we're in a situation where, where basically even if you're working you're in a good, getting a good income? You can't even get the basics. Like there's got to be something fundamentally wrong, isn't there? Yes, of course there is. And that's, that's why poverty is affecting, I think, more and more families. And I teach in schools, I, I teach across the city as well. And I see that day in, day out. Like, you know, you might see sort of grubby collars. Um, you might see like the coat definitely hasn't been washed for a long time. Because they can't afford the washing powder, they can't afford the electric to to do that in the first place the weird thing about being here is the kind of two things very different things being in your head at the same time because on the one hand the level to which poverty extreme poverty for ordinary working people in britain has become normalized is shocking it's truly shocking and without places like this basically an infrastructure of poverty i don't know where we'd be and that is shocking and scary and yet you can see it there it's a really hopeful place. It isn't just doom and gloom. People don't just come for the food and warmth, though they do really come for that. They also come for the company, and they come for this. They come for a little bit of uplift. And you can't help but feel uplifted when you're here. And I know one thing, is we're gonna need a lot more uplift in the months and years to come, because that normalization, food banks, warm banks, all that stuff that never even used to exist, it's just gonna get worse and worse. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast.